Well, looky what we have here. Hello, Piano World. This is Markarian again. And today, we have another unboxing. Out with the old, and in with the older, it looks like. So we have a rare beast indeed, the Physis H1 piano from Viscount. Uh, these don't really seem to exist over here in the United States of America. So I thought that I would jump on an opportunity I had to get one on the cheap from Kraft Music. It was a return, so I won't actually be the first one who's unboxing this particular instrument. However, at a third off of the price, it was too good to pass up. As you may recall from my last video, I was pretty, uh, pretty stoked about the Kawhi MP11. Unfortunately, as much as I love its grand feel action with the escapement and the solid wooden keys and the long key sticks and yada yada yada, it just isn't really doing it for me as far as the sounds. I can't get inspired by them. There's just they just really don't they don't sing. So uh, unfortunately, I have been uh, looking elsewhere. And the action is pretty much the only thing that this digital piano has going for it. I think I had more fun with my original Roland RD700 than I did with this. Certainly, I enjoyed my, my uh, Korg SV1 better than this. So I wanted to make sure I had a 88 key weighted digital board for my studio. And while it certainly fits the bill, it certainly doesn't, uh, doesn't get the blood pumping. So, and it's just too big to be a controller. So there's just a lot of a lot of trade-offs with this instrument. It's a really great piano, but it's just not, I just don't think it's for me. So maybe something new would be in order. So this came today straight from UPS. I apologize for my, vo my voice. I'm a little bit out of it, a little bit under the weather. I brought back a souvenir from California which is a raging chest cold. However, I wasn't going to let this thing sit in the box for days and days and days while I sipped on orange juice. So let's have a look. I'm going to be sick. I might as well enjoy it. Now, this count is a brand that I had only become aware of. I was only aware of dimly because I'd only, the only one I've ever seen in the wild here in the States was in a religious setting. It was in a worship, worship setting. I'm like this count, never heard of them. They're not Kurt, it's Kurzweil or Roland or Kawhi or Yamaha. Okay, packing slip from Kraft Music. Excellent service from them, by the way. They're who I got my MP11 from. And let's have a look see. Okay, well, this has obviously been repacked. Very thick manual, but it's in three languages, so I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me. I've been re looking at a lot of videos of the H1, and it looks like it has a very extensive, extensive menu system. And a beautiful screen. That's another thing I wasn't really stoked about with the MP11 was just its menu system wasn't very intuitive. Its screen was very, very, um, just super basic. And uh, you know, I kind of expected more for a $2,700 digital piano. I mean, I think they kind of felt like, well, you know, we gave you this good action and these great sampled sounds from a, you know, bread and butter Kawhi EX concert brand. So what more could you ask for? There's only 40 sounds on it. It's plenty. Well, unfortunately, that's just not how I want to roll. Oh, uh, what a beaut. Now, this definitely looks like a 21st century instrument. Does it play like one? For those of you who don't know, the Physis piano is unique because instead of using sampled grand piano sounds and then playing them back, also known as a rompler, uh, it actually has a internal modeling engine that procedurally moder models the uh, piano sound, much like you'd see in a Roland V piano or uh, the software uh, the modeling software from Modart called uh, Piano Tech. Now, I would not expect this instrument to be as sophisticated as Piano Tech because this instrument is a, the H1 has been out for about four years, four and a half years, and Piano Tech is continuously getting updated. Uh, however, when you add up the cost of all of the different 
uh, piano models that you have to, to buy from piano tech, it quickly gets extremely expensive. Um, I think probably to get the number of pianos that you have on this instrument on piano tech, you'd probably have to spend well over a thousand dollars in expansion. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you know, I wanted to address that because a lot of people would be like, well, you know, you have the MP11, why don't and it lives in your studio, why don't you just use piano tech? You know, I think that uh, being dependent on a software synth when I just want to sit down and play is not something that um, is, is just not something that appeals to me. And I may yet try out piano tech as well, but uh, what I was hearing from this physics, at least on YouTube and the different audio samples, was really encouraging. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Let's see what we have here in the box. Packaging, packaging, and more packaging, which is nice to see. This is also one heavy mother, but not nearly as heavy as the MP11. I can actually lift this piano mostly by myself if I really, really wanted to. However, I don't want to pull a kidney, so I'm probably going to get some help. So we will be back in just a second. But let's just let double check to make sure the triple pedal unit made it. That's excellent, because if we didn't have that, that would be not good. Let's see what connections we have on the back now that we've got it pulled out real quick. Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. This looks proprietary, and that scares me. MIDI in, out, and through. Fantastic. Um, SPDIF. Excellent. USB. Okay, standard pedal sockets. Phew. Um, two, more foot uh, two more foot controller expression uh, sockets, presumably for the organ model, and our balanced and unbalanced outputs. Um, and on here we have a standard IEC power cord supply with a switching power supply that's universal and global. Perfect. All right, let's get this guy out of the way and let's see if we will be crowning the physicist, the new champion of the studio. We'll be back. And we're back. Well, after smashing my finger and getting everything plugged in, I think we are ready to go. Now, that proprietary pedal plug on the back is actually used for the Physis triple pedal unit. And I want to make a note about this before we continue that I think the reason for that is this. So these pedals feel like, you know, normal pedal controls. However, the damper pedal has much more organic give to it. It actually feels almost like pressing down a grand piano's damper pedal. So I think that the reason that there's a proprietary plug in the pack is so that it can support uh, multi-stage pedaling. Now, I'm pretty sure the MP11 does support half pedaling, but I think this one probably goes one step further because of its modeling technology. Okay, so. Uh, the action on the key, the key tops do have that kind of like fake ivory that you see on uh, I think uh, Roland's newer boards and Yamaha's boards and there is uh, wood grain here on the side I'm not sure if it's solid wood I know it's kind of a subject of debate but or if it's a veneer uh, however there is no escapement uh, I know that there is kind of like some misinformation out there about whether or not the uh, the action on this piano, which I believe is Fatar's TP40GW action, which is the uh, graded wood version of their uh, TP40 action, uh, love it or hate it. I wasn't the biggest fan of Fatar actions, but I started playing uh, a couple of the newer Nords and uh, they started to warm up to me. So uh, feeling the action here, uh, definitely, uh, there definitely there's some grading going on here. Uh, it feels a lot lighter than the MP11, but it doesn't feel uh, it doesn't feel as clicky or plasticky as it does on, say, like the Nord Stage Two at EX or Nord Piano, uh, and not not Nord Piano, but the Nord yeah, the Nord Stage Two EX, which is Nord's uh, flagship uh, performance board. 
Um, I've got the uh, 5D61, which has the waterfall Hammond keys on it, so that's not even not even worth comparing. It's a just it's my kind of like my grab and go board. Okay, <clears throat> I did manage to lift this uh, by myself. It has some nice deep handles on the side here, uh, which makes it really convenient to just to carry around, especially if you've got some help. But yeah, I I, I did manage to get it on here without too much trouble, uh, aside from smashing my finger. But that was just me being dumb. So. Let's fire it up. Ooh. It's got a Debian logo. I swear to God, I can't believe they did that. There's a little Debian penguin right here in the corner. So that you know what system they use to run this. Okay, we'll roll with that. Now it's taking a little bit of time to boot up here, which I'm not terribly surprised. Uh, I do I do think this thing is designed to stay on and in sort of some sort of sleep mode. Uh, definitely has like a six core like TI processor in it. Um, so you know you're basically booting up a computer here more so than most workstations or digital pianos. <clears throat> this is truly scintillating. Okay, got the Phi logo. The anticipation is killing me. It's, uh... All right. I know what I'm not going to be turning off anytime soon. Well, hallelujah. Now it has a capacitive touch screen, so it's there's no um, pressure involved here. There's no buttons or knobs. It's kind of like a smartphone, but probably not quite as as accurate. So this is the Physis Grand. I think it's a Fazioli. Uh, let's just go ahead and try that one. Yes, I know I play scales poorly. I'm self-taught. Fight me. Ah, this action's definitely going to take some getting used to. It's not bad. It is lighter, though. Um, so used to playing the sine wave downstairs and the uh, the MP11. That a lighter action like this is definitely going to take a, a little bit of adjustment, but it is very responsive. So let's see what other choices we've got here. Okay. So this, I believe, okay, I see. So uh, this is scrolling through the different, uh, the different groups of sounds. So the phi symbol shows that there is, uh, that the, uh, these groups aren't, these groups aren't sampled, they're modeled. But if you go to like the ensemble section here, where there's you know, uh, uh, you know, where you've got a string quartet, that's actually sampled. You know, they they didn't they actually included some really uh, some good sounds uh, so that you're not missing out, even though uh, the primary groups are sampled. So let's go back to the piano and see what we got here. Um, I'm hoping that the lock means that you. Uh, can't make changes to it without unlocking it uh, and not that it's uh, like a freemium smartphone game where you buy the game for, you get the game for free but each uh, level has to be unlocked uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can actually I don't think that the screen itself is responsive to touch okay a lot of great choices here fantasy grand so what's a fantasy grand Let's try that. So it's got like a pad. It's got 
I see. So this, uh, like the MP11, is multi-timbral. Um, so you've got the, the and, and the nice thing about it is that it can be multi-timbral, apparently, with two modeling engines running at the same time. So they took the rock grand and they, I guess, distorted it and uh, made it uh, <laughs> sound uh, ethereal and airy, and they took the vibe and did the same thing, and they created this, you know, multi-timbral preset that's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's see what else we got. All righty. Okay. Physis Grand... I could sit here for a couple of hours going through the uh, through the menu options here, I and mean, that's that's definitely uh, thank thank God this count actually uh, did provide some tutorial videos. They're not very well organized, but uh, they're they seem pretty comprehensive. So uh, let's go and find it. Just I wish there was like a panic button or a you know uh, you know just go get me back to a grand piano kind of button here. Uh, maybe I haven't found it yet. Okay, so Physis Grand. Okay. <clears throat> So this does not play like your typical digital piano. It is a lot more alive, a lot more organic. Things that you do on the keys are going to get translated to a lot more nuance than I've ever experienced with any other digital piano. So again, taking some getting used to. When you sit down at a digital piano, you expect a certain amount of, um, I guess the way to put it would be linearity. Say, so, okay, you know, they sample it at three, four, five, whoever knows how many velocity layers. And, and I think you subconsciously adjust to playing in that to, to adjust for that but on a modeled piano i don't think that there's the same kind of uh uh the same kind of limitations that you'd see on a on a rompler as it as you know, as it was so um that's uh that's basically my first impressions i really like it so far uh, i will have to play it some more and um you know Maybe either crow about it or, or bitch and moan about it on the forums. Either way, um, you'll hear about it. And, um, yeah, I'm probably the <laughs> only American dude to have a physis uh, and, and actually make a video about it. So uh, uh, it certainly seems a lot more current than, a, than an instrument developed in 2012, 2013. So I got to give it props for that. Anyways, uh, thanks all for watching and listening. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments, uh, please... Leave them in the comments section. Um, you know, feedback on my playing is uh, is welcome, but uh, in a different form. So uh, take it easy. So I wanted to add a small bit of epilogue to uh, my first impressions of the physics. After playing it for one evening, I'm certainly impressed with it, and uh, I can't wait to play with it some more. But I wanted to point out an interesting feature that... Uh, this count offers on their website, which is the Physis Piano Editor. Now, this is a piece of software that notionally uh, lets you uh, edit all of the same parameters that you can uh, on the instrument itself, but with the added convenience of using your mouse and having everything at a glance instead of diving through menus and dealing with the touchscreen. It also has the feature of letting you adjust all these parameters note for note, which is really cool. Uh, this app is provided on their uh, website for download right here 
for free for uh, Mac OS and Windows. Uh, if you try and run this app, well, there is no physics piano connected because I was I decided to try it out before the piano actually arrived. It will crash on startup. Uh, however, uh, after plugging the instrument in, it does run, and here's what happens. Physis USB key not detected. Application runs in demo mode. Connection to Physis piano is disabled. You salty sons of bitches. I found out that discount actually charges uh, 350 euros, according to one Piano World forum post, for the privilege of using their external editor to edit the sounds, the same parameters that you can on the piano itself, and that you actually have to buy from them a USB dongle, quote-unquote, to prevent piracy, even though this app only works on their instruments. Bad form discount, not happy with this.